everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Krisha, thanks so much for joining me today. Today's video is going to be really helpful, hopefully, to some of you out there who who are kind of just looking into maybe getting some more Chanel products. Maybe you have some in your collection, you wanna add some into your collection, or you're brand new to the brand and you've never really wanted to kind of like splurge on, on Chanel Beauty because it is definitely a little bit more of a luxury brand. Kind of just like, oh, it's a lot of money. Like, is it worth it? Is it something that I should invest in? And that's what this video is here to help you with. It's going to include my top Chanel makeup products that I have used, that I constantly keep in my vanity, constantly repurchase. And these are just sort of like the creme de la creme in my experience. I'm going to be showing you guys little clips of me applying the products as well as I talk you through why I think these are just some of the best that Chanel puts out. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look using my top Chanel beauty products, just keep watching. All right, let's start off with what I would put on first. I'm gonna kind of go in order of how I would apply my makeup. The first product is going to be a foundation and it's probably not gonna be a foundation that is sort of talked about the most when it comes to Chanel. I mean, when it comes to Chanel, you know, the Vita Lumiere Aqua has been sort of a cult classic. Another good one is the Le Beige that came out last summer or like two summers ago, 2020. Chanel really does put out some amazing foundations. In my experience though, this foundation crept into my life last summer. I've just been loving it. I'm almost done this particular bottle. I can't wait to repurchase it. It is just the most beautiful, easy to apply, easy to wear foundation. It's the Le Beige Tinted Moisturizer. Yes, it is titled more of a tinted moisturizer, but this is no joke when it comes to beautiful, healthy looking skin. This has coverage. This is not going to be a super, super sheer non-existent tint like the beige water tint. That one is a completely like non-coverage product. This one has coverage, you guys. It's still gonna be a sheer to like very light medium coverage. It just looks so glowy on the skin, not greasy. It feels light, it feels moisturizing. It is just one of the most beautiful foundations that I have come across. I give it a little bit of a shake. I put maybe like a dime size all over my face. I just kind of blend it in with my fingertips usually um, and then kind of go over it with a brush. I don't use a wet sponge with this because I feel it has like that sheerness, that really nice kind of like light moisturizing effect that I think a sponge wouldn't do it justice. So fingertips as well as maybe a little bit of a brush looks so good you guys and yes the coverage is not intense however I don't feel that the Chanel aesthetic is usually a really high coverage dramatic type of makeup if you look at their runway shows a lot of the models are wearing just very very little makeup if anything what I have on today is a little bit more of a fall winter look where the eyes are done up but usually the skin is left very sheer just very natural looking and so that's why I feel this particular product just emulates that without trying. So I definitely suggest trying this one, especially if you like more of a sheer kind of to like light medium coverage. The only negative of this is that most Chanel foundations up until the Le Beige as well as the Ultra Tenu had very limited shade ranges. And so that also applies to this one. It only has six shades. It is quite sheer, so I think you know, light to kind of like tan skin should be able to find a shade. But yes, that definitely is, is a con when it comes to this particular product. Chanel does eye pencils, you guys, very, very well. They do two particular eye pencils very, very well. Their standard retractable eye pencils are good. I'll show you how I use it in a second. But I also absolutely love these ones. And these are the Fatter Stilos, the Stilo Ombre A Contour. These particular products came out probably two, three summers ago. And they're just the most beautiful, easiest way to get a slight smoky eye effect. I used the lightest color in number 12, one of the first shades that came out. And I just apply it, sort of just run it along my crease, 
kind of extend a slight cat eye and then you got to work relatively quick I just use a smudger brush from refer and I just kind of like blend it all in and it just creates such a beautiful light smoky contour effect the darker shades you can go a little bit more intense which I did use in a video for their fall collection I'll link that below so you can see that one in action I just feel that these are such an easy to use formula again Chanel is not going to be about a very dramatic smoky intense defined look for the most part it's soft and yet kind of just has that classy undone effect kind of like that French you know French girl look where you look like you don't even try you know you just kind of whip it on and I feel like that it just really reflects how these pencils work next I kind of did an eye look with a quad from Chanel this is in Rivoli very beautiful cool toned eye look then I went in with the other type of eye pencil they make and this is the typical retractable Stilo Ye waterproof this is the most amazing pencil to use in your waterline I know there's probably other pencils that are good I'm not gonna say there isn't but my goodness how easy they make it with this pencil. It doesn't transfer, it doesn't create any kind of weird um, smudginess um, in your eyes or contact lenses. It stays on so, so well, and it's so easy and soft to use in the waterline. Most amazing pencil for that purpose, in my opinion. So we have our eye look pretty much done, and we're gonna use, oh, this used to be my favorite mascara ever. Marc Jacobs at Lash, which is now RIP, kind of replaced it. And I opened up a new tube of this because I didn't have it in my collection. And so I knew I loved it so much. It is the Le Volume Mascara. Comes in a bunch of shades, kind of like limited edition shades that come in here and there as well. Currently they have it in black as well as brown. I have it purchased in brown. I just thought I wanted to add a brown mascara into my collection right now. It's a dark brown, so it still looks very defining and still very sultry. And the best thing about this mascara is how easy it is to use and how easy it is to build up your lashes. It does have a rubber bristle brush, so many tiny little like rubber nubs on it and that just creates a very defined but yet voluminous effect. You can build upon it, build upon it, build upon it and you're not going to get clumping. You're just going to get some intensity, some volume. It does hold curl relatively well even though it's not really a curling mascara and this tube you guys it lasts a long time. I don't know, mascara, are we supposed to throw it out after two, three months, like officially? I'm sure there's some rule about that. I don't worry about it. I mean, this will last you sometimes with daily use, four to five months. I'm not even joking. This is such a beautiful, long lasting mascara that it is worth the splurge. It's a lot of money, absolutely it is. It's not gonna dry out easy. It's going to continue applying beautifully and it's so, so easy to create a beautiful, beautiful, defined yet voluminous lash. Next up is going to be a cult classic. This had to be included, and this is not gonna be a surprise to a lot of you that follow or love Chanel Beauty. This is the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. That's the old name I know because I'm just finishing up a tub of it. I bought some backups of the old formula just because the new one does have coconut oil and I just wasn't sure about it. So I scooped up some backups before they changed the formulas. They do currently have it in two shades. So you're gonna get your original shade as well as a deeper shade. Because of the creaminess of this and slight sheerness of this formula, I like to apply this with a synthetic brush just sort of like all over my skin after it's been powdered. And it creates just sort of a little bit more warmth and life back to my skin. I know, why do you powder then? Well, if we have a greasy T-zone, we kind of have to powder. If we want to set our foundation, sometimes it's good to powder for longevity, right? When you do that, it does kind of dull down the skin. I feel that this product just puts life back into the skin and it just creates enough of a bronzy light base for other products, you know, other bronzers to go on top of, the blush, highlighters, etc. Again, it just creates that beautiful base layer of color that you can build up upon and create a very natural, sun-kissed, sort of like dewy effect. Because it is a cream, you almost don't have to use a foundation. You can put on a little bit of concealer in those really kind of like dark areas, go in with this, that's gonna create a little bit of like a base, you know, for other makeup to go on top of while still giving you a little bit of 
color and a little bit of warmth. Absolute holy grail product. Chanel really, really got it right with this one. I put some blush on, I put a little bit more bronzer on in a powder form, and then we're ready for our next product, Le Bon Essentiel. And this product again came out probably around three years ago, and it is their cream stick highlighter. I think this is one of the most underrated products from Chanel. When I was doing this list, this product just stood out to me. While it is a cream, and so again, you're thinking maybe, oh, it's gonna be tacky as a highlighter, especially going on top of maybe powdered products, that's the beauty of it, is that it doesn't do anything to disturb the products underneath. I did use a stipple brush with this one. I went in pretty intense, and then just kind of like dabbed it in place. And as you can see, it just creates the most beautiful, juicy, dewy effect. And this is what I love when it comes to natural looking makeup, is that it creates a shine and a dewiness but it's youthful, it's natural, not accentuating of any fine lines. And you know, being in my early 40s, like I'm starting to get some fine lines um, and I feel like this product just doesn't accentuate it. And again, if you're not doing any type of crazy base underneath, because it's a cream, it does stick and adhere to the skin. It's really hard to apply powder products on top of a base that's not foundation. Does that even make sense? It's hard to apply, you know, powder onto bare skin. And I feel like if you want to do a supernatural look, like I was mentioning with just some concealer, a little bit of the tan de soleil, and then this on top, it's just perfection. A little bit of cream blush or use your lipstick as a cream blush and you are good to go. They do have it in a bunch of shades. I used it in the very just shimmery light shade. I also have it in more of the bronzy shade. They come up with limited edition shades. So something for every skin tone essentially. Beautiful product, definitely one for the win and maybe not as commonly talked about. Okay, we are down to our final product, you guys. And this one I've, you know, dedicated a full video to, and I will link that down below as well. The longest name ever, and I should know this by now because it is probably my favorite Chanel product ever, Le Rouge Duo Ultra Tenue. This is their long lasting lipstick. I have it in the old formula, which used to be kind of a round bullet. I have it in the new versions. I want to buy more. I hope they come out with more shades. I would be so, so happy if they did. I'm craving more shades, especially more lighter toned shades. There are a lot of like neutral shades, as you can see that I have here, but there's also a lot of like reds and berries and just more deep shades. Now the beauty of this lipstick is that it doesn't budge. It doesn't budge. I have this currently on in light mauve, which is one of the most beautiful kind of like neutral, slightly cool pinks. So you wanna just have like a nude lip, essentially nothing on it, maybe just a touch of lip balm is okay. Go in with the color side, it has a sponge, put on a good layer of this product. I like to use it in thin layers if I'm going to build up a little bit more color. So go in with a thin layer, wait a minute or two for it to settle down, go in with your second layer if you need to fill in any gaps or if you want to build up a lighter shade. Again, let that sit for a minute or two and you can kind of tell because it does go a little bit dry on the lips, like you're gonna feel it setting in just a little bit, but nothing crazy, not like the MAC, you know, retro lipsticks or anything like that. When you're done letting it sit for those two minutes or so, you go in with the clear gloss side and don't be afraid of this gloss side. This side is really magical. It just creates a very beautiful, glossy, moisturized effect. As you wear the lipstick into the day, that dissipates and you're left with beautiful, cushy wash of color. So when I put a tissue up against it, nothing came off. It doesn't come off. You can eat a greasy burger, you can kiss your significant other or your kids. Like, you can wear this morning to night and not have to reapply. If you're maybe on vacation, if you're out in the sun and you're doing so much stuff like drinking, eating, swimming, whatever, you may have to just put another light layer of the color and gloss sometime in the middle of the day or end of the day, but this stays on just incredibly. It is bulletproof. Again, it's not cheap, I know that, but if you're gonna invest in one product out of all of the products I've talked about in today's video, invest in that one. You will not be disappointed with that lipstick. Guys, that's it for today's video. I hope I didn't talk your, your ears off. I have no hesitation recommending 
any of these to you guys. Of course, personal tastes do matter because, for example, the foundation, it may not be for everyone if you like a more full coverage foundation and so forth. But if you really enjoy that kind of like natural, undone French Chanel aesthetic, these products are truly, truly holy grails in my opinion and in my experience. Do you guys have any of these? Do you feel that any of these in your experience are holy grail type material? Let me know your thoughts down below on your favorite Chanel must-have product. Also, I invite you guys to subscribe if you wanna see more videos from me. Definitely mostly beauty related. Click that subscribe button as well as a notification bell to get notified of my future uploads. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that lipstick video. I'm going to link it right away here so you guys can watch the full review on these Ultra to New lipsticks. They are truly incredible and so if you kind of have your interest peaked, watch this video. You won't be disappointed with this product. I can pretty much guarantee it. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank oh, you so much here's my little watching. mug. Okay, <laughs> say bye. Bye, bye guys. <laughs> Parlez-moi d'épidémie, je vous ris au nez Toutes celles que j'admire font ricaner